next film narrative. Uh, so there, there are four questions that I try to answer when I'm looking at a company. First is, what is their product for? Uh, do people actually like their product? What is driving the revenue growth? And is the revenue growth sustainable? So first, uh, first question, what is their product for? So check the website, yung, uh, investor presentations, then uh, sometimes because I like sa website, hindi mo talaga may imagine how the product works. So usually, check sa YouTube. So may mga instructions on how to use it. And, tapos, so check me yung what is their product for. Second, do people actually like their product? So again, sa YouTube, sobrang daming naggagawa ng reviews eh. So parang, di ba, if you're going to buy a new phone or a new laptop, usually check mo sa YouTube kung okay yung reviews and stuff. So ganun din yung sa company products. So check. Uh, next, what is driving their revenue growth? Uh, so, ayun, usually I read the earnings call para like, malaman mo kung ano yari. So, with the case of Tandem, uh, it was the product shipments. So, they noted that for quarter mark the strongest sales in Tandem's history. So, 80% growth in substantial quarterly bomb shipments. So next, yung mga previous months, may mga reports na rin ng uh, distribution agreements to other countries. Tapos, aside from that, may news na yung animas sa competitor, which is exiting their market na. Basically, parang ano siya eh, subsidiary ng Johnson's and Johnson's na hindi kumikita. So they decided to cut it na lang. So, ayun, automatically, you may, may imagine that yung customers niya would look for a new, uh, similar product, eh, di ba? So, which is tandem na. That, tatlo lang naman nata sila, eh, parang Medtronic, Tandem, and Animas. So, next, is their revenue growth sustainable? So, see, Len Leonard always talks about the size of the addressable market, di ba? Pero sometimes, ako, I find it difficult to put a number on how big the size is. So, usually, I just check the news. So, yun yung mga headlines, you should type that it is. So, sa India, China, tapos may documentary pa, or may short documentary on how fast food is making people obese sa Middle East. So, pag obese ka, usually may nag-sumusunod yung diabetes eh. So, alam mo na may market. So, tapos next, uh, personal experience ko rin. Like, uh, both my parents have diabetes. Grandparents, aunts, uncles. So, pati in ko meron. So, parang <laughs> sobrang ano niya sa fans. So, tapos, like, nakita ko yung parents ko next to check ng new fingerprint for their blood glucose diba? before meals tapos magi injection ng insulin so from hassle so check basically yung medyo parang may idea ka na na sustainable naman yung road so next uh, and i bought it here at the square root diba? So, na probe ako. Tapos added here. Tapos, ito parang analyst coverage, coverage na doon. Tapos, ito yung earnings. Sold everything here. Tapos, uh, FTSR challenge somewhere here. So, uh, after 100% gain in one. Kailan mo yung ano analyst? Yung search. So yung so after a hundred percent gain in one month, uh, what made us decide to 
to take tandem for the FTSR challenge. So, uh, so the earnings uh, it showed uh, continued revenue growth, depending on forty one percent tanina. Tapos that the narrative is still in play. Tapos price action. Yung, di ba, after the earnings gap down 10%, tas nag -rally. Tas at the same time, nung earnings, nag, ano rin siya, nag, phase out. So, kita mo na na, like, kinain lang yung demand for the shares. So, may nagmamadali. Tapos, do sky set up din. Tapos, yung XHE, uh, healthcare equipment, EDF, or New Hyden and Time. So, yeah, time. So, key takeaways to do in the FTSR challenge is keep in mind how powerful reversals are when the technicals and fundamentals are aligned. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, for me, if you see something like that, it's probably worth it uh, to look at it. Because like, it spent siguro, 30 minutes to an hour to me narrative talaga ganyan. That's so worth it, then, diba? Yeah. <laughs> Tapos, next, if you're, if you're not sure about the narrative, scale up. Uh, basically, since not effort ka na, Bili mo na rin. Pag mali ka, pwede ka na mag-cut eh. Pero pag tama ka, tindaga mo na lang. Worst case is, ano, ayun nga, is you lose the initial risk or break even ka lang. Ah, next. When buying new high, ito from Boss Edward to eh. When buying new high, trade what you see. When buying reversals, trade what you think. Kasi, ano, <laughs> Uh, I bought it here. That's eh. parang siko mahal na ganyan. Next start na ako isip So ending kinat So So end. End. End of presentation. When you started looking at that, what's the market cap of Adam at that? hundred fifty million at Because when the FTSR started, three hundred million a share. What what encourages you to? So when you look at micro caps, let's say when we're looking at micro caps today. Um, in terms of the num the num for how the numbers, do you see a lot of micro caps with that kind of level of difference in numbers, or in, you know, or spectacular to the own case net? Uh, well, actually, yung in some yung numbers, kahit sobrang ganda. So, uh, yung narrative is very important. Like, di ba may iba tayong small cap that didn't work? So, ayun, may mga... Aside from yung revenue growth and their product, parang yung... Kailangan mo na i-imagine if yung... If you are able to... If you'll be able to accurately predict yung susunod na revenue growth. Like, sometimes may companies na kaya mo i-predict eh. Yung mga large, per, large capital intensive equipments, feeling ko hindi sil feeling ko kaya i-compute ng mga analyst to how much it, yung fair value ng company. So, not much surprises sa in terms of the price. Versus yung mga items na like yung mga Funko, ganyan, di ba? Uh, tandem, like, hindi nila ma uh, ma project accurately kung how much it would earn the next quarter. So, nagkakaroon ng parang mispricing ba yun? Okay. 
So if your narrative is there, mas mas nag mas nag run yung price, mas mi ano? Yan yan, may mas mas may mispricing parang din. Tawa. Follow up question. So yung the ba you see the numbers okay yung numbers. Are there cases na you see the earnings call tapos parang na underwhelm ka and then you end up not trading it? Like what what parang how long does it take you ti- to digest <coughs> an earnings call and say na there's something there or there's nothing there? Uh, would it, would it? Parang so you have the numbers already and then you read the earnings call you look for a narrative. Um, are there cases that you you read through the earnings call and there are no narratives and you don't end up trading it? Hmm. May mga ganun cases din. So parang... Minsan hindi mo ma-appreciate agad eh. So you have to ask someone na more familiar with the product. Like kunwari, pag mga computer stuff, like tinatanok si Jack, if okay ba to, ganyan. Ayun. Minsan, minsan may mga things din na hindi mo ma-appreciate. Like, ito kasi nagkataon na diabetic parents, so may experience ka na versus pag computer stuff, like, ito na hindihan, ganyan. So, check. May sense ba ito, ganyan? Okay. <coughs> so, you're using what narrative plays the, the larger role in, in terms of, I don't know, especially oh. the scale of Parang, I think it's siguro mga 70-30 eh. 70% being the narrative, that's 30% chart. So if may chart ka, pero your narrative isn't that good, I think yung personal call mo is the narrative isn't that good. I guess you can trade it pa rin. Like, pero yung conviction parang kulang eh. Until the next earnings call or new parang new catalyst comes out question yung kuray ngayon per day ilan yung ina aral mo sa screen wala <laughs> 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 parang recent kasi like yung things like this doesn't come out every day eh. parang ch- uh, screen ka lang ng screen every day then may isang lalabas na big gains or gap up big volume coming out of neglect. So, mga ganyan, ganyan you have to check it immediately. Kasi yung sa chart, yung sa chart sa tandem, kasi lumabas na yun yung gap, di ba? Pero like previously, hindi siya lumalabas. Or yung... Hindi daw? Yeah, yeah. Dito, hindi siya... Hindi ko siya nakita eh. So, lumabas lang siya dito eh. So, may chance din na baka hindi lumabas sa screen tapos... So, pinasas ko siya two days? Parang two, or one day lang yun? Uh, okay. Dito. Nung gap up, down tick, di ba? Kasi parang square root na siya eh. So, parang nagkataon na rin na paglabas nung chart, may setup ka agad. Parang ganun. Then you look for the narrative. Parang ang bilis din kasi ng processing mo eh. Like, yeah. previously ba, gano'ng katagal ka mag-pro? I'm just wondering, like, how long did it take for you to be able to what do you know? It's different because like before, the buy my SQ and stuff. More of the conviction, eh. Parang... Like... Parang... SQ mo, parang matagal mo inaaral din, eh. Tama ba? Kasi parang... Kaya mo nga sa search mo pa inaaral, eh. Sa job pala. Hindi. Parang kasi lahat naman nandiyan na eh. Like sa Seeking Alpha, di ba, nakalabas, nakalagay na yung press release ng earnings. Tapos yung transcript nandiyan na rin. Tapos, so, ginasin mo yung transcript din that day? Oo. Oh. Sandali lang yung trans- transcript eh. Parang 14 pages na naman yun. What? Sorry lang. Pero sobrang... Like, hindi mo naman kailangan basahin every detail eh. Pwede mo naman skip-skip lang yung um, sections. How do you differentiate? Kasi this is a reversal, right? 
Mm. This is from a historical business where the business has been. Yes, it went up a lot there. Well, it's, it's about index community, the market. How many years ago it? Because we now have a certain community neglect for a significant period. Mm. Most of these guys that you're looking at today is is from the uh, Nawasakian, mostly. Uh, not necessarily. Parang like iba yung mga IPOs kaya. Masa for me ano eh, uh, parang price action first before the narrative. Kasi minsan unahin mo yung narrative, tao sobrang may in love ka dun sa company, tapos walang chart, tapos pipilitin mo nang pipilitin parang yun. Ano. <laughs> Kasi naman eh, di ba? Like, kunwari, like you find a story, tapos gusto gusto mo, tapos yung chart wala dyan. So pinipilit mo eh. Tapos pag lumabas na yung right time, parang hindi mo na siya ma-execute, kanya. Ah, question. Kasi hindi ko nag-aarap ka ng narin. Kasi kailangan lagi may revenue growth din. Eh. Nakaano ka ba let's say ng isang company na nag-gap, tapos yun, maganda yung narrative, pero yung growth niya wala. Or hindi up to standards mo. May mga ganun ba instances? Or nag, kapag lag, walang revenue growth, automatic tayo natin. Pag kunwari like flat? Or uh, pag, let's say, low digit, low or digit growth. growth or negative. Usually, ano na eh? Tapo na. Tapo na. Otherwise, parang minsan lalabas, tas sobrang, parang sayang time. Unless, ano ah, from a negative growth, negative growth rate. Bilang, Kaso yun, pwede papasok, papasok yun sa'yo. From negative growth to, let's oh, say, single digit. Scan mo lang, like yung uh, press release kung sinabi ba niya yung reason. Kasi minsan, parang, hindi ko sure, may mga one-time deals na hindi no. naman siya, hindi na siya recurring. So, yun, yun naman naman na tayo. Yun. So when you were saying you were looking at the quarterly revenue, was it just, what, what did you say before? Was it two quarters in a row, three quarters in a row? Uh, ako kahit one quarter lang eh. One quarter lang? Kasi minsan, like yung sa tandem, second quarter, medyo mataas na eh. Medyo late ka na rin eh. That's the one in April. Sorry? That's the one in April, the second quarter is the time. Ah, I've done that one. Ah, yes. I'll just... So your process mo is first you need you, you look for a chart that shows you something and then you screen for growth and then at, kung if it passes both, check ka lang ba ba sa na narrative niya. Mm. Okay. So kahit, kahit masayang yung basa mo lang, so kahit walang narrative, basta may growth, it, it'll trade mo pa rin siya or wala ka lang conviction sa trade mo? Well, in trade, pero like conviction is hindi masyado. Parang... <coughs> Parang hindi na ako mag-a-add yan yan. Hindi na ako mag-scale yan. Trade, trade lang. Nice. Actually naman, ano eh, like, kunwari, uh, parang ma-feel mo na eh, di ba kunwari, nandyan yung chart, you traded it, you made money. So, baka you're, you're missing something. Uh, ano ba? Yung nasa $8 na siya, medyo, I can't do it. 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 I can you know, and spin up. Yung parang process mo, it takes several steps, di ba? 
and <coughs> yung news doesn't come from just one information source. So like, do you have a system of like archiving or like how do you do it? How do you compile if it's from a lot of different places? I just read through it. Just read through it. Tapos familiar ka na eh. Okay. May idea ka na. Okay. Tsaka hindi naman like, hindi naman sobrang dami ng companies na kinakatandaan. Sa halos lahat ng info naman from Seeking Alpha, Vinges, Mga earnings call. Okay, so halos same, same lang. Oh. Okay. Thanks. Walang secret website. Secret <laughs> <laughs> website. So you can find it once, we'll get the next one, right? Yeah. What's the next one? All those. <laughs> Since you started this, um, you use target pricing right now. Chaka, um, would you trade the mga mo when they're already at the expensive parang end? Either they enter the way more things sale or just go on to the next one? Actually, yung tandem when it came out, sobrang undervalued siya. So, yung target price, for me, parang guide lang siya. Hindi talaga siya useful for me. Except like, ngayon na binabentahan yung market. Like sa local, di ba? So, sa US, parang ano yun. Kasi, like, it's so easy for the analyst to say na, you upgrade it. Pag tumama na sa target price, you upgrade on it. Ulit, mga ganun. So, pag, like, pag nag-run yung stock mo, tapos, sabi mo, ay, mahal na siya, ganyan. It can go higher, but, ba yung mahal, nagiging mas mahal pa. Maraming ganun. Would you re-enter yung mga, like, tandem no? Pinag-back ko siya dito. So parang ano na siya eh, trade what you see na eh. Di ba yung sabi nga ni boss? Kasi hindi yung problem ko dito eh, parang binigko ko ba yan? Ganyan. Tapos pa nagsiset up siya, parang ayaw mo na. <coughs> trade what you see. Pag new highs, trade what you see talaga. Regardless of how high na yung... As long as hindi pa nag... Like large sell offs, then mm -hmm. I think I think some some of the times, especially if you look at the US today with guys like Turtle Beach here, EVAV, TTV, all of these guys that have fantastic earnings growth, what happens is that after the initial magnitude like where we can really participate, it's a channel, significant these guys go to channels, extended channels, and the so nangyari, if you aren't able to get them at those critical purchase points, nangyari, every day, creep lang eh, di ba? So, um, if you're not able to participate on those early stages and hold those balances moving forward, wala na talaga ang entry points, like Reggie, wala na talaga entry point eh, di ba? So, um, this part of the, the, the purpose of this, this, this kind of setting is to give us a perspective of how critical it is to be able to see these companies early, being able to be able to maximize those critical junctions where we can purchase early and then manage the manage holding these away. So if we can get them early and we can be able to participate, even star by Jack and Star and we get able to purchase it after the young slingshot thing. Start with this other one. On search for your balance, how about the So and the output is so fast that you're in those, those, those segments. Eh? So even Reggie, the other day, the last three weeks, we're vertical up every day. Right? So, um, and we can see that now we can also participate in it. Right? So it's understanding that 
these narratives are in place, these growth issues are already there. It's, we have to learn how to hold those balances in life. I'm not saying we don't get the, the last tail end, but I mean to say that if we can get even that first leg, that's still how many? Not many, many. Maybe. Maybe. It's about 30 percent. About two weeks. And here your entry point set, about very clear on entry point set. Need a better start. After the double down, same as we get on the. Potent, but extremes. <laughs> 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 guys, like X, example, for example, the X, the X is still in that like the volatility and the momentum and stage, right? But pero pero niya niti creep na siya, right? It's very very hard to trade it on, on that basis, but more so that if you understand the narrative, you can buy it at certain junctions. Spacing out, and then you have to learn how to hold it. Then it doesn't come out. The US is just too efficient, and the market is too efficient for us. Nothing else fits. And it's what this is like it's just creeping. The bottom all of it is bottom, it's just creeping. So if you don't know how to position yourself at specific junctions and hold those balances, you need to like a but this, uh, this only is part of whatever, if you understand the underlying research and what underlying narrative of the company. If you don't understand the underlying narrative of the company, you mm -hmm. So that's why you know, we're so thankful to these guys that, that they're helping us you know, doing all this research and that work and whatnot. And then we can already give, give us opportunities to be able to participate in these ways. Like, in your natutunan pa this round, eh. like, yung narrative, sobrang, sobrang important siya if you find one, tapos sobrang gusto mo. Every time na sinisell off, binibentahan yung market, parang it gives you the conviction to buy and hold it. Kahit na parang yung chart mo parang alanganin, ganyan. But if you know this, the narrative, the story, parang mas kaya mong hawakan. May holding power ka. How many guys at AMD, AMD today, at least in the bottom? Uh, big one. Nice. Lali, man, the bottom. Look at it, parang big cup, lali, man, the bottom. One day to post. Eight of them. Just there, the bottom. Where it's the creep, eh? It's really the creep. So you have to keep yourself enough lean weight. Wait, wait, wait. One, you can't do it. You have to hold enough lean you can't hold too much, because hey, if you're holding too much, there's only a limit to what you can you can stop. Oh, <laughs> if you're oversized, But if you're willing to example, yung search niya, yung yung initial search after the earnings, tapos the pull back siya. If you put your cut at 18, and just chug through the volatility, but if you look oversized, you look like a suit. It's like 1870. So now search into new high, you raise it to 1870. But you have to hold enough that you can stomach that level of volatility. Last questions? Thanks, all this.